guys, it's Liliana from Vanilla and Canela here. Welcome back to my channel and today I want to share with you finally my office tour. If you guys are new to my channel, you won't know that this used to be Alex's room. So here's a quick look at what it used to look like. Now let me show you what I've done. The first thing I had to do was remove all the stickers that were around Alex's room, including the ones on the window. You see me here using a hairdryer because they were stuck on so hard, it was probably the hardest bit to do. I had to do a clean up of the walls and repaint those little bits where the stickers used to be as well. The next step was to try and put the room together once we decided we wanted a theme of a dark wood and white in the room we were able to move this chest of drawers which was inside the wardrobe and then able to put the oak shelving inside because it doesn't really match the room and it will still provide us with storage inside the wardrobe. I want to say a special thank you to my husband who has put up with all my whims during this project and moved stuff around countless times. After that, it was time to style the bookcases. I did the best as I could, bearing in mind that I can't get rid of any of the books. We did do a small clear out, but we are keeping mainly everything. The table we used as my desk was actually our very first dining room table when we first got married. And as you can see, it was in a really bad state. I forgot to film it for you guys, but it's an Ikea table and we've just covered it the legs and the tabletop with fablon, the top with white satin fablon, and then the legs with dark wood effect fablon or sticky back plastic. Took a couple of pictures to show you guys. This process took about an hour to do. Transformation of this table is without a doubt my favorite. I think it looks like a brand new table, really clean and fresh at the top and at the same time the legs match the bookcases which is something that I want. I am beyond pleased with this. I 
managed to pick up this chair for £10 at a local secondhand shop and I just spray painted the bottom to have the dipped effect look and I really really love it. All the copper accessories was stuff that I actually already had. They were different colours, they were silver and blue and I spray painted them using the same tin of spray paint that I bought for my very first challenge a goodwill challenge so I was so pleased with that painted all of these plus these two little tea light holders which I have displayed on my bookshelves the styling of the bookshelves was actually the hardest bit because I still needed to keep all of my husband's and mine my books but I also wanted it to give it a bit more feminine edge so I as usual shopped my house and did not buy anything of what you see on display on the shelves this is all stuff that I had and I really really love it the same goes for all the stuff you see on my desk you might even recognize it it's all things that I had and they've been displayed in different places in my home and I think that turned out really really good The pictures on the wall I had already, they are this one and the next one are of my hometown Santa Dirso in Portugal so I absolutely love them and then I just have that project that you guys saw me make recently. The curtains I had in storage and I just gave them a wash and hang them back up and they look gorgeous. And last but not least, I had to make a little bed for my cat Ethel, who always likes to be where I am. So, what do you guys think? Of course, as you can imagine, I absolutely love it. It's a place I can be creative, I can also do some work, YouTube work, and maybe get a chance to work a little bit more on my website. But also, um, a space for my family to use. You know, Alex plays in here with me. I also want to use the space as a spare bedroom. We have a airbed, so if guests come to stay, they can still use it. Now, let's talk about the money side of things. The only money I spent was on the chair, which was £10, and the fablon or sticky back paper that I used to cover the table. Now that was £19.98 for the two rolls of Fablon, the white and the dark wood colour and that was the money spent, £30 in total so not bad at all. Now there is a couple of things that I still would like to get, number one a set of drawers to go under my desk and which will help me keep all the paperwork as you guys saw in the video there's two big boxes here one has my printer on top so I want to find something that could fit in there but that's kind of long term until I come across something that I really like and the other thing is a rug to go on the empty space next to the desk I hope you guys have enjoyed this video. If you have, please show me some love by giving me a thumbs up and leave me a comment below. Also, if you're new to my channel, please don't forget to subscribe. There are other rooms being updated soon. And that's it, you guys. I'll see you very, very soon. Bye for now.